Saturn, the second largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant, meaning there is nothing solid on its surface to stand on. It is also quite gigantic, since you can fit 764 Earths inside Saturn. Part of the reason Saturn is very recognizable is because of its wide rings. It is the largest and the brightest ring system in the solar system. Now, they may look wide and smooth, but up close, it's a different story. It ranges in thickness from 10 meters to 1 kilometer, which is actually nothing considering that they are 280,000 kilometers across. These rings are made out of particles that are very close to each other. That is, particles that range in size from a normal-sized rock to a mountain-sized object. And these particles are mostly made out of water ice, with a trace of metals, which is as well the reason why these rings are so bright. Water ice reflects light pretty well. There are as well lots of gaps in the ring, and the rings are divided. Their names are A, B, and C. There are more, but those are the main ones. So then, what would standing on one of these ice rocks that are a part of the ring be like? So let's say we find a pretty large ice rock, and the ring B, which is where the largest structures are, plus it is the brightest ring. First of all, you would need a spacesuit, because it is pretty much a vacuum there, with temperatures over minus 200 Celsius on average. So let's say this thing we are standing on is the size of a very small asteroid, but there are structures that are 100 meters across and cast a shadow onto the ring, which is pretty large for a ring system. Now, you can stand at these objects, but it would be very hard to accomplish that, because the gravity of these objects is extremely weak. They are not very dense or big, so getting to stand there would be hard on its own. But moving would be near impossible, only if you were somehow attached to the object itself. With just one jump or nudge, you would escape the object and fly away into space or towards Saturn, where things won't be very good. This means that you would likely need to be attached to the object with some kind of a special rope to keep you onto the ground. Taking a look in the distance at the object you're standing on, you would see a very bright, white surface that would be kind of smooth and a bit slippery. You would as well get a very good look at other rings and see other magnificent ring structures. Looking around you, Saturn would dominate the sky, since you would be only at around 100,000 kilometers of a distance from Saturn. That is almost four times closer of a distance than from our moon to Earth. Other moons of Saturn, such as Mimas, Enceladus, and many others, would as well be clearly visible. Also, getting attached to these rings and structures would be quite hard, as they are rotating around Saturn at 18 meters per second on average, or 64,000 kilometers per hour, which is many times faster than a shot bullet. So, all in all, to get to stand on Saturn's rings would be definitely a very magnificent experience. But in order to do something like that, it would require a lot of hard work. It is not as easy as it seems.